Ini rumah pis. Good morning. Pretty over there. So cold outside, guys, this morning. Check it out. Oh. mobile detailing I'm sure you guys already know welcome back if this is your first time thank you for tuning in it's a video where we we'll take you along our journey with us we do our mobile detailing hope you guys enjoy this video today nothing too crazy we're just gonna uh, take you guys along our drive with us and show you guys a few helpful tips so once again god bless you guys don't forget to like and subscribe all right guys so we're gonna get ready we're gonna get started so this vehicle is very clean we maintain these about every two weeks so just one of my tips i'm still trying to figure it out i don't under don't know why understand yet Maybe you guys can educate me but the first thing that i always do when i get into a vehicle of course we do our inspection but if it's needed we do it but for the most part we don't it's not needed but i've always start a vehicle on the inside with a wipe down first like i said i don't know i see a lot of detailers that go straight into the vacuum but for me what that does it helps all the dust particles and maybe any debris that's up top in the higher areas fall down so that's a helpful tip for us you know so the tips that we're going to be sharing with you guys this morning is more of just like a personal preference it actually works out like i said so everything that's in here any dust any debris usually tends to fall down so then what happens is when we go ahead and do our vacuum we don't have to do a second uh vacuum we wipe it all down and then we come with our vacuum after and we're good Another tip that we do um, is when I teach my helpers, AKA my boys or anybody that's helping me. So I notice a lot of the time what we've done in the past, and sometimes we do it, but for the most part is that um, we take out the mats and for example, you see all the small debris, whether it's just rock, things like that, no big deal, right? But if you come across other vehicles that are a lot more dirtier, and you take those floor mats out, what happens is you tend to throw a lot of trash on the floor. So usually what I'll do is I pick up all the trash before, I vacuum the mats there, and then I take them out. What that does, it doesn't allow us to throw any dirt or debris 
on the floor, which causes us to have to pick it up after. So like I said, if it's small like dirt, little rocks, ain't no big deal, right? But if you're dealing with trash, um, you know, you don't want to throw trash on your client's floor. Um, you don't want to leave a mess. You want to be as clean as possible. So that's another tip. I like to vacuum our floor mats there before even touching them. So the same thing here, as you see, this one's going to be a lot more dirtier. And when I mean dirty, I don't mean filthy. This is uh, just as a uh, work truck. So of course you're going to see a lot more um, dust particles, things like that. And you got your chemicals. I believe all our chemicals that we're using, we're using of course our interior express here. We got Isaiah over there on that side. Let's wipe it everything down. Looking like a Alaskan Eskimo, however you want to call it. What I do is I kind of just mist our product. We give everything a wipe down. Like I said, wipe everything down first. Allowing all this dust, debris, you know, everything to fall to the to the ground. So when we come in with our vacuum, we vacuum it all up. Nothing gets left behind. We're not having to, I know I'm repeating myself, but we're not gonna have to wipe down and then vacuum twice. So what happens is if you're vacuuming first, all this dust particles, debris, any trash, it all falls down. So if you vacuum first and then you wipe down, everything falls and then you have to come back with another vacuum. So this is the tip that we like. Very basic, very common, but it works for us. So we're all finished up with the both interior as far as the vacuuming, wiping down both vehicles. We're actually working on two different vehicles here. Um, here's another tip that can be very helpful for you. So my bottle, I got that uh, detail spray. It's a final touch. And what I like to do is I like to spray a little bit of that on our door jams. What that does is not only gives it a cleaner look, but it actually protects the door jams from being scratched or, um, you know, leaving, leaving any issues behind. I guess I would say more of a scratch, you know, gives it that 
extra lubricant that's needed um, to give you a smooth clean finish and like I said not only a clean finish a safe finish but also a clean finish it's gonna leave a extra shine so here it's still a little wet right now we're fighting against the, the cool weather so um, we're fighting the water right now that uh, don't want to evaporate but like I said this is a good tip it can be helpful it improves the quality of your work now remember these are just our basic um, these are just our basic packages that we offer and this is a this client's a regular so his cars are very well kept you don't have no issues you know very clean neat family here you know so our job is not as hard so you know we want to make sure that we always deliver not only with this client but all our clients we always want to make sure that we always deliver you know great quality work that our clients are gonna like so check it out I can't see much but nice and clean all right so finishing up I didn't get the process, but another tip is that while little, while little one was inside vacuuming, so I didn't, I was, I wasn't sitting around and doing nothing. What I did was I went ahead and did the insides of the windows. That was earlier. So what that does, kind of just helps speeds up the process. So now that the vehicle is all finished. Once the inside's completely done, we don't have to worry about going back inside. What we did is we just did the exterior. Of course, we did the door jams, and that was it. So here we're finishing up. We're doing our final touches. That's just going to be the armor on the tires. Of course, we already went and did our, our walk around. We did all our touch-up work. And then all we have to do is just um, simply just come and hit the exterior of your windows. And that's it and then you're all finished up so like i said these tips that i'm giving you guys today they are our personal preference preferences it's what works best for us it's not always going to work for you you might not even consider it um but that actually helps us uh with our time and also giving more of a, a, a quality job so hope you guys enjoy the video